When God says, he'll give you back better than what you lost, believe him. Ask for it. Ask for healing, clarity, peace, wisdom, and guidance. Ask for abundance, creativity, light, and love. Don't be timid in your prayers or your requests. Be positive, be grateful, as everything you're asking for is already making its way to you. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. The universe will send a life-changing opportunity by the end of this month. Keep your energy high by trusting the signs and radiating good vibes. God says there will be peace in your life. The anxiety will ease. The depression will lose its grip on you. The miracle is coming. I love you, Father. Forgive me if I've asked you more than I thanked you. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Your Lord says, This entire world, my child, believes that I am a liar, and that this is an internet communication from God that people ignore or those who don't ignore leave incomplete. But they probably don't know that if they believe in me, if such is the case, he must never leave. Your Lord is saying to you today, the word incomplete in any of my references, please don't leave it unfinished if you are watching, my beloved children. Don't watch it if not. I will suffer if you leave it unfinished or disregarded. You now have the choice of hurting me or heeding my message. God is telling you today that he loves you, even though what he is teaching you is difficult. It was either a chance, a rise, a present, or anything that would help you advance. There are many wonderful things in my plan for your life, so keep trying. Maybe you have a much greater distance from this world. Maybe you won't dismiss my message, and you'll listen to it with a sincere heart and a little suffering. I might be able to offer you ten years in exchange, my kid if you give me ten minutes of your life. You might waste these ten minutes anywhere else, but after hearing this message of mine, you can move on with your life. The world is a place where we can learn about God, no matter how much it hurts. We are able to see how much he cares for us and desires that we coexist peacefully. God is an energy that permeates the entire cosmos. He is neither a person nor a thing. He is not constrained to a certain location or era. Instead, he has an endless life that spans all of space and time. God loves us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross in order to atone for our transgressions and grant us eternal life with him. But if God can put his trust in us with our hopes and aspirations, how much more so with his plan for our lives. God wants us to be happy, but he also wants us to live responsibly and wisely. Instead of letting anxiety or fear of failure devour our aspirations, we should let those emotions motivate us to achieve them. Support our community and donate us through super thanks type yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.